we try to find out what treasure is here, we have to figure who did the work on Oak Island. I believe that this was the work of the Aztec Empire. I believe about 800 AD that it was the Mayan ship that came ashore and they discovered Pelagor's clay in the sediment. Dan Blankenship was the original explorer of Oak Island, starting his quest years before it became a show, but he passed away in 2019, leaving his passion and quest to his son, Dave Blankenship. But Dave suddenly disappears from the show in the eighth season. Long before Marty and Rick Legina's TV fame, he was the pioneer of this shocking quest. What was the terrible story behind Dave's life that made him leave the show? Join us as we uncover the real truth behind his sudden departure. Dan Blankenship was a Canadian treasure hunter who dramatically changed his life after reading about Oak Island's hidden riches in 1965. Captivated, he left his job in Florida, moved to Oak Island, and spent over 50 years searching for treasure, becoming a legendary figure among treasure hunters. Rick and Marty Lagina, two brothers from northern Michigan, were equally drawn to the mysteries of Oak Island from a young age. Their fascination, sparked by the same article that enthralled Dan, led them into their own treasure-seeking adventure on the island. Meeting Dan in the 1990s, their initial interactions were brief and not very successful. However, over time, they forged a strong partnership with him. Dan even joined them as a co-owner of Oak Island Tours Incorporated, the company overseeing their treasure hunt. Dan became crucial to the Oak Island narrative, admired for his deep knowledge of the island's history and legends. He featured prominently on The Curse of Oak Island, a TV show that follows the treasure hunt, endearing himself to fans as a mentor and friend to the Lagina brothers. The show follows two brothers and their team as they delve into the secrets of the island, driven by their passion for history and adventure. People everywhere are drawn to their hunt for hidden treasures and old stories, until Dave made a big mistake. Why Dave left TV life There was a lot of talk about why Dave left. Some people thought he might be ill, while others believed he was tired of the never-ending search. The actual reason, though, was quite straightforward yet touching. Dave chose to step back from the hectic life of being on television. After years of searching the island and sharing his father's intense interest with viewers, Dave needed a break. He wasn't pushed away by illness or simple boredom, he was looking for peace, wanting to return to a more normal life away from the constant public attention. So, Dave chose a quieter life, one far from the bright lights of TV and the expectations of the public. But this doesn't mean he cut all ties with Oak Island. Dave still feels a strong connection to that place, and his heart leaps at the thought of discovery. Who knows? Maybe in the future, Dave will return to the island. Maybe he will walk the shores again, looking for the treasure that has remained hidden from many. For now, we can only guess and think about what might happen, keeping the story of Oak Island alive in our minds as we wait to see if Dave will take up the search once more. Until then, the tale of Oak Island and the Blankenships continues, quietly waiting in the background, a steady presence in the world of unsolved tales. While the Lagina brothers continue their televised exploration, Dave enjoys his solitude, perhaps still pondering over the island's challenges from a distance. His life now is more about enjoying the day-to-day -day rather than chasing the grandeur of hidden riches. This does not mean, however, that the adventure has completely left him. The island's allure is strong, and its call might one day bring him back to the old trails and hidden spots he knows so well. Until such a time, the legend of Oak Island, enriched by both the Laginus and the Blankenships, remains a fascinating chapter in the pursuit of the unattainable, kept alive in the conversations and speculations of those who follow their story. But why did Dave Blankenship choose such a quiet departure? For many years, Fans tuned in with excitement to watch Marty and Rick Lagina and their team explore Oak Island. However, amidst the excitement, there lingered a significant question, what had become of Dave Blankenship? Unlike ordinary treasure hunters, Dave was special. He was the son of Dan Blankenship, a renowned pioneer in the Oak Island exploration. It seemed Dave was destined to be a key figure in the search for the island's elusive treasure. And for a while, 
he was, until unexpectedly, he wasn't. By the 2020 season, Dave's absence was noticeable, and speculation among fans ran wild. The truth, often less sensational than fiction, turned out to be both mundane and profoundly disheartening. Dave himself clarified the reasons for his sudden exit during an interview with Mysteries of Canada. He pointed out that his decision to leave The Curse of Oak Island was driven by his discomfort with how the show's producers were handling his father's legacy. It was shocking to learn that his father, who had dedicated his life to exploring the island, was having his contributions overlooked. Disheartened and unable to align himself with a project that he felt did not honor his father properly, Dave chose to step away, leaving fans bewildered and questioning what might have been. Dave's story is tangled with his family's history and the complicated world of reality TV. It's interesting to note that Dave was not just another participant in the treasure hunt. He was the son of Dan Blankenship, a legendary figure in the exploration of Oak Island. Dave soon noticed that his father was not included in important decisions and was consistently overshadowed by other well-known individuals associated with the island. Not one to stay quiet, Dave expressed his frustrations in a direct Facebook post. In his message, Dave criticized the show's producers for downplaying his father's extensive efforts and instead focusing on promoting the Lagina brothers. He shared his disbelief and anger openly, remarking how the producers disregarded five decades of his father's hard work to enhance the image of the Laginus. His bold statements sparked controversy but highlighted his vital link to the show, not merely as a crew member but as a direct connection to its rich history. Despite his departure, the story did not end neatly, yet fans hold on to hope for his return. The behind-the-scenes drama only deepens the intrigue of reality TV, doesn't it? Even though he is no longer physically part of the show, Dave implies that the producers no longer have any influence over him, suggesting there are still unresolved issues. In a surprising development, Dave made an unexpected appearance in a 2021 episode of Drilling Down. This appearance was not just shocking because of its suddenness but also because it allowed fans to delve deeper into his ongoing involvement in his father's legacy. This move provided fans a closer look at his profound ties to the treasure hunt that has defined his family's story. Maddie Blake, the show's host, addressed Dave Blankenship's exit from the main series and his thoughts about the future of Oak Island thoroughly. However, Dave didn't reveal any significant new information about why he left the show during his segment on Drilling Down. Yet, this brief appearance reignited discussions about his possible return. Clearly, his connection to the island is still strong, suggesting that his story with Oak Island isn't finished. Currently, Dave is not exploring the island, but he continues to be a topic of conversation. His short visit on Drilling Down highlighted that there are still many untold stories and much intrigue surrounding Oak Island. Ever noticed Dave's limp? Here's the story of the serious accident that caused it and how he overcame the challenges. Dave's fight after a bad fall There is more to Dave than just his role in hunting for the island's legendary treasure. Another point of interest is his physical appearance, particularly his noticeable limp. Viewers familiar with the show may have spotted it. It's a subtle yet constant reminder of his past struggles. So, what's the story behind it? When Dave first appeared on the show, he shared a dramatic incident from his life. Back in the 1980s, he suffered a serious accident when a cable snapped and pulled him off a crane, causing him to fall 45 feet to the ground. It's hard to believe he survived such a fall. The fall resulted in severe injuries. The impact was so severe that it caused a stroke due to his safety helmet coming off and an artery in his head being dislodged. This grave incident put Dave in an induced coma and led him into a long period of intense physical therapy. Against overwhelming odds, Dave refused to let his injuries control his life. He engaged in a tough battle to recover, managing to walk again and regain much of his physical abilities. However, recovery was not complete, the left side of his body remained numb, serving as a constant reminder of the traumatic event he had experienced. Dave's resilience is truly inspiring. Despite the severe challenges he has faced, he has not allowed his physical limitations to hold him back. 
His determination serves as a powerful example of human resilience, showing us that overcoming difficulties is achievable. Should Dave Blankenship appear on your television screen again, remember the path he has taken to get there. Reflect on the numerous obstacles he has overcome and the challenges he continues to face. Most importantly, remember that no matter the difficulties life presents, you possess the strength to overcome them and triumph over your own challenges. In addition to appearing in front of the camera with his father, Dan Blankenship, on The Curse of Oak Island, Dave has played a significant behind-the-scenes role, he was a producer of the show. Yes, Dave wore the producer's hat, significantly contributing to the creation of the captivating episodes of Oak Island that reached viewers around the world. His involvement with the island is more than just superficial, it is deeply embedded in his responsibilities and contributions to the series. This deeper connection shows that Dave's relationship with Oak Island goes beyond simple exploration, it involves shaping how the island stories are conveyed to viewers, highlighting his deep commitment to both the show and its narratives. Dave Blankenship's financial status, estimated between $1 to $8 million, is quite notable, especially considering it's partly due to his involvement with a popular TV show and his ownership share in Oak Island. The concept of owning a part of Oak Island isn't straightforward, it's a significant piece of land wrapped in countless tales of hidden treasures and historical artifacts, though these treasures have remained elusive despite their allure. Owning such a historical piece of land might sound prestigious, and indeed it is. Dave inherited his stake from his father, Dan Blankenship, which connects him deeply to the island's complex history. Ownership here is not merely about possessing land, it's about holding a piece of significant history. But let's be realistic, it's not all glamour and intrigue. The reality involves intricate legal ties and financial responsibilities that often overshadow the excitement of treasure hunting. Despite what one might hope, the island is not open for public visits. Its status as private property keeps it shielded from general access. This exclusivity adds a layer to its appeal, presenting it as a sealed treasure chest, off-limits to the curious public. What does this mean for people like Dave Blankenship and other owners? Imagine the intricacy involved in owning such a notorious piece of land. The potential of undiscovered treasures might seem appealing, but the actual task of managing and safeguarding such a heritage-rich site is a significant responsibility. It's not just about the thrill of potential discoveries, it involves a serious commitment to conserving the land's historical and natural beauty. On a personal level, Dave's life is more tumultuous. His brief and unsuccessful marriage adds a layer of personal difficulty to his story, complicating his public image linked to a famous piece of land. His life narrative intertwines personal challenges with historical significance, each influencing how the other is perceived. Looking deeper, it's evident that Oak Island's story is shaped not just by its owners but also by those who dream of its hidden treasures. Ownership has changed hands over time, starting from Dan Blankenship and David Tobias who once controlled a significant part of the island. However, partnerships dissolved, and ownership shifted, bringing new figures like Alan Coster Zewa and the Michigan Group into the picture. Each change introduced new challenges and altered the dynamics of the island's ownership. These changes in ownership are not just simple transactions. They represent new chapters in the ongoing story of Oak Island, a story marked by financial struggles, legal complications, and the constant chase for hidden treasures. The tale of Oak Island is highlighted by the aspirations of many who sought fortune here, only to find themselves entangled in a complex web of legal and logistical challenges. The real worth of Oak Island might not lie in any buried treasure but in the intricate and often difficult relationships that its legend has created. Learn about the complicated ownership of Oak Island. See how Dave's inheritance places him right in the middle of this ongoing saga. The complex world of owning Oak Island what does all this mean for Dave Blankenship? It's believed that he inherited a large part of Oak Island from his father, Dan, which places him at the center of the island's ownership discussions. Imagine inheriting such a significant piece of land. It might seem right and justified. But opinions vary. For instance, Judy Street, 
the then Minister of Tourism, was not pleased with this outcome. She argued that the island should have been owned by the government to benefit everyone involved, not just a single family. When we think about the complicated history of who owns Oak Island, we must remember Dave Blankenship. His family's connection to the island is long-standing, and he has been deeply involved from the start. Perhaps, in the future, he might play a crucial role in discovering important aspects of the island's history. As of now, the island continues to draw attention and interest. According to popular stories, Oak Island is said to contain a treasure of immense value, which has led many treasure hunters to risk their lives. The identity of the person who buried this treasure, and what the treasure actually includes, remains unclear. The most accepted explanation suggests that famous pirates like Henry Avery and Captain Kidd might have hidden the treasure there. However, there are other stories too, suggesting that people ranging from Blackbeard to Spanish inquisitors to British sailors might have hidden something on the island. This has kept Oak Island in the thoughts of treasure seekers for hundreds of years. What might this treasure include? That is a very big question. People have guessed it might be anything from the diamonds of Marie Antoinette to lost writings of Shakespeare to ancient artifacts related to the Masons. No one really knows what is buried under the island. The intrigue started in 1795 when a man named Daniel McGuinness found a strange hollow on the ground, which led him and his team to begin searching. They found interesting signs, like marks from tools and carefully placed stones, but faced many challenges and superstitions that stopped them from going further. The search for Oak Island's treasure continues today. Will the truth about Oak Island ever be revealed? Will Dave Blankenship and his team manage to uncover what lies hidden under the island? Time will provide the answers. However, one thing is certain, as long as there are important discoveries to be made and treasures to be found, the story of Oak Island will keep inspiring those who dream of finding hidden treasures around the world. This ongoing fascination with Oak Island isn't just about the thrill of finding treasure. It's about the appeal of connecting with history, the excitement of solving long-standing questions, and the possibility of discovering something truly extraordinary. People from all walks of life and from different parts of the world are drawn to this island, driven by the hope that they might be the ones to uncover its hidden aspects. For Dave Blankenship, being so deeply tied to such a place is both a privilege and a huge responsibility. He has to balance his personal interests with the broader historical importance of the island, ensuring that its legacy is preserved for future generations. Moreover, managing a property with such a rich and complicated past involves navigating through numerous challenges, including legal issues and the physical upkeep of the island. The responsibility doesn't end with maintaining what is already known, it also involves exploring potential new findings responsibly, ensuring that the island's environment and historical layers are not harmed. As the saga of Oak Island unfolds, it remains a focal point of both historical interest and modern-day exploration. The story is not just about the physical treasure that may or may not exist. It's about the journey of exploration, the challenges faced by those who dare to delve into its history, and the lessons learned along the way. For Dave Blankenship, this journey is both personal and shared with the global community of enthusiasts and scholars who continue to be fascinated by what Oak Island represents. Dave Blankenship's career includes roles such as set designer and art director for various television shows, highlighting a diverse professional background. He worked as an art director for Purge 3, The Code, in 2015 and was involved in Live with Kelly from 2009 to 2011. He also contributed to Head Games, a science-themed game show on the Science Channel in 2009. Additionally, Blankenship has decorated sets for notable series like The Walking Dead in 2015, Sleepy Hollow from 2014 to 2015, and Army Wives from 2009 to 2012. He even served as a production designer for the documentary series Ghost Hunters in 2011. Shifting focus from his career to the darker tales associated with Oak Island, there's a so-called curse that supposedly dictates that seven people must die before the treasure can be found. This curse, though lacking any real proof, has been talked about for generations, adding a layer of fear and suspense to the island. 
Historically, Oak Island has been the site of several fatal accidents, which some people interpret as evidence of the curse. One of the most sorrowful incidents occurred in August 1965 when Robert Restall, his son, and two others died from toxic gas exposure during their dig, a grim reminder of the physical dangers present. This tragedy, along with others, has been used to support the idea of a curse, with some pointing to the death of a man named Match Eisen in 2014 during the production of The Curse of Oak Island as further proof. However, these events might just be unfortunate accidents rather than evidence of any supernatural curse. As we consider the challenges faced by Dave Blankenship, it is clear that the hunt for treasure is fraught with real risks, not just the fanciful dangers of a curse. Those who choose to explore Oak Island must be prepared to face serious hazards. Discover why the Blankenships devoted their lives to Oak Island. It all began with Dan Blankenship's life-changing decision to move there. The start of a family's big adventure what led Dave Blankenship and his family to become so deeply involved with Oak Island. The origin of this fascination can be traced back to 1965 when Dan Blankenship read a compelling article in Reader's Digest that completely captured his interest and changed his life's direction. This was not merely the start of a treasure hunt, it became a lifelong commitment that deeply involved his family in the ongoing challenges and dangers associated with the island. This commitment by the Blankenship family has not been a simple affair of occasional visits or casual interest, rather, it has involved decades of continuous effort, investment, and sometimes, personal risk. The drive to discover, the pull of what might lie buried under the island's surface, has been a powerful motivator. But it's essential to recognize that their quest is more than just a search for material wealth. It's about the pursuit of a dream, the desire to solve a long-standing riddle that has captivated many before them. Over the years, the Blankenships have not only dealt with the physical challenges of excavation and the emotional toll of setbacks but also with the legal and bureaucratic hurdles that come with such endeavors. Each new clue, each unearthed item, has propelled them further, fueling their resolve to continue despite the difficulties. Their story is not just one of treasure hunting but of a profound connection to a piece of land that promises much yet reveals its hidden grudgingly. Dan Blankenship's interest in hidden treasures and old relics led him to team up with other treasure seekers like David Tobias, Fred Nolan, and Robert Dunfield to create the Triton Alliance. This group aimed to thoroughly explore Oak Island, starting significant digging operations in 1967 and reaching depths of 180 feet. Despite navigating through legal battles and money troubles, the alliance fell apart in the early 1980s. Dan's determination to uncover the truths of Oak Island never faltered, even as he faced numerous challenges. After the Triton Alliance disbanded, he continued to find ways to fund his explorations, notably by tapping into the island's tourism potential to support his ongoing search. By the 1990s, only Dan and David Tobias were left as the main owners of the island, both holding on to the belief that the island still had more to reveal. However, the constant pursuit began to take its toll, and in 2006, David Tobias sold all his shares, leaving Dan as the sole owner. In his later years, Dan Blankenship remained steadfast in his quest. His commitment to exploring Oak Island was fueled by a deep belief that there were valuable finds yet to be discovered. When considering Dan Blankenship's legacy and the long-standing intrigue of Oak Island, it is clear that the most compelling explorations are driven not by the desire for wealth, but by a relentless passion for discovery and the pursuit of knowledge. Imagine being on the brink of a discovery, only to have it elude you, this was the theme of Dan Blankenship's decades-long search on Oak Island. For over 50 years, Dan's innate curiosity and refusal to quit propelled his exhaustive search, though real success always seemed just out of reach, and the island only slowly revealed small bits of information. In a detailed 2010 interview with the Chronicle Herald, Dan spoke about his extensive journey and acknowledged that the deeper he investigated Oak Island, the more questions arose. This experience was common among those who ventured deep into the island, as each new clue led to more complexities. When it seemed like progress was stalling, a new opportunity arose with Dan Blankenship's partnership with the Michigan Group, 
potentially revitalizing his quest for discoveries. This new chapter came with its own set of challenges. Before the agreement, Dan was wary about the intentions of the new potential partners. He worried that the island might end up with someone who might not respect its historical value. His partner, David Tobias, tried to sell his shares to local buyers to prevent the island from falling into the hands of commercial developers, but he was unsuccessful. Despite these hurdles and doubts, Dan remained committed to the idea that the island's history could be deciphered. For him, the journey was more about understanding historical complexities and setting a path for future explorers than just unearthing hidden treasures. Can you believe it? This tale transformed them all into treasure seekers, forging a bond that evolved into a profitable partnership. They were the perfect match for Dan Blankenship, who was deeply interested in the Oak Island treasure. Alongside the Michigan group, they reinforced their efforts to find the well-known money pit once and for all. Their ambition didn't stop there. With additional financial backing, they established Oak Island Tours, a business aimed at investigating the island's hidden treasures and inviting tourists to watch history unfold. Moreover, with a valid Oak Island Treasures Act license, their operations gained even more credibility. Soon, the History Channel learned about the fascinating developments on Oak Island. Seeing a great opportunity for an engaging TV show, the producers quickly broadcasted the activities of Rick, Marty, and their team to viewers around the world. Watching the series of fortunate events that brought the Lagina brothers and Dan Blankenship together, it becomes apparent that the most significant discoveries often happen when enthusiasm meets opportunity. Although the Oak Island treasure continues to remain unfound, who can predict what the future might uncover? See how the Blankenships mix history and business. Their story is about more than just treasure hunting, it's about family and commitment. A family's commitment entail now, consider the Blankenship family, who devoted their lives to the allure of Oak Island. Get ready to delve deeply into their story, marked by strong will and a touch of family drama. Until his death, Dan Blankenship was the only permanent resident of Oak Island, a title he shared with his son, Dave. Dan's journey to Oak Island was far from simple. After serving in the U.S. Army and working as a contractor in Florida, it wasn't until the 1960s that he decided to move to Nova Scotia. There, he established his home and committed himself to exploring the island's hidden past. The entire Oak Island saga often feels like a well-crafted drama, portrayed as a pursuit of history. It's a story cleverly woven with elements of passion and profit, where the past and present blend seamlessly in the search for something elusive that always seems just out of reach. The continuous search, the creation of a company to capitalize on public interest, and its transformation into a TV sensation, all these aspects resemble a modern-day rush for gold, presented as a noble quest for historical findings. Yet, beneath the surface of exploration and excitement, one might wonder if the true wealth is not buried underground, but in the earnings of those who spin these tales. As the Oak Island narrative continues, filled with the thrill of the hunt and the appeal of the unknown, it serves as a reminder of how easily the lines between history and entertainment can blur, leading everyone on an endless pursuit of what might never be found. In this extended quest for the unknown, the intertwined lives of the Blankenships and the Lagina brothers showcase a mixture of business acumen and historical curiosity. Their partnership, built on shared goals and fueled by both personal intrigue and the lure of profit, has turned Oak Island into more than just a site of potential archaeological interest, it has become a commercial hub that draws in both investment and tourism. This blending of history with business raises questions about the motivations behind the ongoing excavation efforts. Oak Island was more than just a place for Dan Blankenship, it was his life's focus. He dedicated himself entirely to the island, unconcerned about the expenses involved. He even prepared his son, Dave, to follow the same challenging path. Dave encountered many hurdles. Like his father, he had a strong interest in Oak Island, though they didn't always agree. Dave mentioned that his father often chose the most difficult approach, known as, Dad's Way. Despite their differences, the connection between father and son was solid. They shared the good and bad times on Oak Island, 
strengthening their bond through their joint efforts and shared excitement. Think about the dedication of the Blankenship family to Oak Island, and realize that the most thrilling journeys are those taken with those we hold dear. The island's history is rich with tales of perseverance and hope, passed down through generations. There remains a chance that Dave Blankenship might still uncover the long-sought treasures that many have failed to find, continuing what his father started. Each exploration brings new insights, keeping the legacy of exploration alive. The family's unwavering commitment serves as a testament to the enduring spirit of discovery. What about other Blankenship family members who avoided the public eye? Take Linda Blankenship, Dan Blankenship's daughter, and Jane Blankenship, Dan's late wife, who both significantly contributed to the family's treasure hunting efforts. While Dave Blankenship became well known through the curse of Oak Island, he was not the only family member involved. Linda also participated, though in a quieter, supportive role away from the cameras, providing essential support to her father and brother. Jane, Dan's wife, was also a key supporter of his endeavors. Her dedication was evident as she meticulously documented every discovery and setback. She always encouraged the treasure hunt with unwavering belief and enthusiasm. Even during the toughest times, her optimism never waned. Unfortunately, Jane passed away in 2011, but her spirit of bravery and persistence continues to inspire and motivate. Her legacy is etched into the very fabric of the island's ongoing quest. Dave Blankenship has not appeared on The Curse of Oak Island since the eighth season, but the show continues, still holding the attention of its viewers. Currently in its ninth season, the series continues to promise more thrilling explorations and possible discoveries. With the Lagina brothers at the forefront, this season focuses on Hensby Chapel's vault, an area originally excavated by William Chapel in the 1920s. 30.25 reports suggest that several important artifacts were discovered there, renewing interest in its potential value. Will the Lagina brothers manage to find the treasure they seek? Time will tell. Did Dave Blankenship quit the show due to personal reasons, or is there a hidden story behind his sudden exit from The Curse of Oak Island? Share your thoughts in the comments and let us know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing updates and stories.